Okay, this is a weird one. A pharmaceutical company that's trialing a new groundbreaking age reversal pill had such good results that the local news wanted to run a story on them. But before they even could publish the video, the chairman and CEO died. You see, six months ago, this 12-year-old German shepherd was near death. He had terminal cancer, was operated on, and his prognosis wasn't looking good. The dog's caretaker knew that an age reversal trial was being conducted on dogs, and so she asked if Zeus could be a part of it due to his dire situation. The pill's aim is to lengthen telomere caps on human stem cells, because as part of the aging process, our telomeres shorten, which increases the chance of age-related diseases and, of course, death. If you can increase telomeres, you can reproduce stem cells and keep repairing things so that you can get literally younger. They said that in their drugs, preclinical data from a previous in vitro human cell study, it showed that the medication lengthened telomeres by almost 200%. Zeus was granted access to the medication in April, and his caretaker said that she saw results almost immediately. He's doing marvelously. He goes out to our pool and he swims and he has fun and he, he plays with the tennis ball. A recent scan showed that the cancer in his body had completely disappeared, and the results were so remarkable that she asked for more to give another 12-year-old dog that could hardly walk due to arthritis. And just last week, she said that he has started galloping and running again. But then, despite all of that, they hit us with this. And we are sad to report that since this interview was conducted, Dr. Christopher Chapman has recently passed away. On the company's website, they announced his passing, saying, out of respect and privacy for Dr. Chapman's family, details of the 71-year-old's passing will not be made available. And then added that to support the new chairman and CEO, three telomere directors, Directors have voluntarily resigned. Human trials for this drug are planned for mid-2025.